This is Rome to home. After months of training, the team are raring to go. And so we arrive at Gatwick. This is Jacques, brother of Steve, son of Tony and Sue. We're off to Rome to put into action a ludicrous idea that has been years in the planning. But together, in Steve's memory, we'll achieve something truly unimaginable. This is Dean. And this is Elsa. And so we arrive in the land of spaghetti, cornettos, and all that other cultural brilliance, like Ferraris and government corruption. But alas, we must travel back by bicycle. Let the journey commence. In an hour, we will meet with our team of support drivers who have our luggage. But first we wait for Matt. Matt was the only rider to take hand luggage onto the plane. So unique. Is that the one? Nope. This is Matt. And so we head to our hotel, the Euro House Inn. It's the 18th of September, less than 10 hours until we begin our epic journey, and Kenny Jr. looks nervous. We have arrived in Rome. This is me. There's just been a fireworks display over in the distance, obviously they knew we were coming. I think I'd definitely win the award for Dick of the Day today, so I'm in Winton earlier, which is near where I live. Decided I'm going to get my hair cut. So I'm sat there. I read my phone while I'm waiting. There's a message from Woody, who's another one of the cyclists, saying, just waiting for my lift, should be there soon, at the meeting point. I think to myself, oh, he's leaving a little bit early. Actually, shit, have I got the time wrong? Get a reply from Woody, 10.30, mate. I think he's just joking, he's just winding me up or something. Get a response from Tony, the coach is ready to leave. This is now about 11 o'clock. As soon as I read that, call Tony. I think he's blagging me for about two minutes. He's telling me, he's trying to convince me. Coach is leaving without you. Get here as quick as you can. He passes the phone to Craig who tells me, yeah mate, the coach is waiting for you. Dash to Christchurch Football Club as quick as I can. Keep everyone waiting for about an hour. So, definite dick of the day. Tomorrow could be interesting. Not sure how I should be mentally preparing, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying this gooch cream. That'd be a first. Morning, day one. I've just applied my first ever chapeau cream. I think we're ready to go. We're now proceeding to eat the complimentary lump cake, yoghurt cake. I think we're gonna have to get used to eating like dry foods. I've also got my own Belvita breakfast. I feel like this is just one long advert for chamois cream cake breakfast bars, but no, this is Rome to home. Craig O. Craig, son of Kev. Morning. It's 20 to seven. Yes. Day one of the big ride. I've been up for 40 minutes. Winner. How are you feeling generally? Uh, nervous, apprehensive, small nodules of excitement, but not much right now. Mm. Yeah, today I'm cycling twice as far as I've ever cycled, and I'm going to do it again for another 12 days, so pretty psyched. Have you applied your Gooch cream? I have, yeah. This is Frampo. Hi guys. One of our support drivers <laughs> for the two weeks. How are you feeling, Frampo? Um, a little bit tired because the old Peroni was going down last night. <laughs> Cheers, Frampo. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Joe, son of Jim. Show us your tattoo, Kev. Father of Craig. <laughs> Inspire us. <laughs> there it is, look at that beauty. <laughs> Steve Hendy. This is the best we're going to feel for about the next two weeks. <laughs> Already toasty. We've met Elsa. She's a physio. There he is, the big man. Tony, father of Steve and Jack, husband to Sue, our commander in chief. I wonder what words of inspiration he has for us on this day one of Rome to home. I need to fill the water bottles. Stu, one of three support staff. I thought we were supposed to have the twat tan, Stu, not you. Morning, Paul. It's another layer. Of Paul! How are you feeling? Concerned. Layer of protection. Cool. <laughs> Ready to go. Morning, Kenny. We've met Kenny Jr., cousin to Marco. Marco's our in house Italian. I'm very confident. Not confident about cycling, that's for sure. I'm confident <laughs> that the weather's going to be hot. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Feeling good, Jim? Jim, father of Joe. I reckon so. Robbie. More commonly known as Benson, a real linguist. <laughs> our two ladies in pink, physios, how are you feeling this morning? Yvonne. Physio. Yes, very good. Very good. Go. <laughs> thoughts on video. Pete, camera shy. God. And religious too, apparently. <laughs> Is that it? 
Woody, I haven't picked on you yet. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a warm one, I reckon. Indeed it is. It's 7.30 and already 22 degrees Celsius. My thoughts... Here's Greg to cheer us up. Uh, it's day a one. bloody stupid idea. And, um, yeah, let's see how the first day goes. Why do I bother? Here's day one. Today we cycle north, 114 miles from Rome, the capital, to Grosseto. Here's Tony to simplify things. To simplify things? Told you. This is the airport and the runway. Our hotel is here. This is the coastline where the seaside is. This is the Colosseum in the middle of Rome. Get back on our bikes, Saturday morning, Saturday morning, up that way. Do you need a taxi? With a pink taxi. It's a slow start, but soon enough we're heading around the airport on the most luxurious cycle path we've ever seen. Just look at it! So it's 8.30am and it's already uh, pretty sweltering today. Teething difficulties. Yeah, lots. 112 miles, 10 to 140 miles. <laughs> Hashtag lost. <laughs> and soon enough we're lost again. It's a bit tricky to find the exact route. I don't know what you're doing! Hey Dean, do you feel lost? I'm going straight on. 26 miles down, lost for the third time. I think it's going to be a bit of a theme of this trip. 37 miles down, a bit sweaty, a bit sticky. Yeah, but feeling confident. But just a few miles down the road. So we think we've lost Shaq. I'm sure we'll be fine. Hello mate. Where are you? Did you look yeah. around to see how much behind you? Prick. <laughs> They're teaching all the safety rules and he just ignores Which is on the left. Hand. He's telling the seat is by his left hand. If he can't see the seat, he's gone the wrong way. Yeah. Whilst a search party is dispatched to find Jacques, I catch up with Greg. Jacques is lost. He is lost in Italy. He's heading back to Rome to get a plane home. Day one and Jack is lost. And then more disaster strikes. First puncture of the first day. Goes to Greg Smith. Now I seem to remember Greg telling us he could change a tire in just 4.2 minutes. And that was 10 days ago. Let's see how he's improved. Myself having to fight the urge to go at a decent pace. Got to remember this is a 14 day cycle. Who we got? Jacques kind of getting lost or going off by himself. It's possibly cost us another 10 miles on what is already one of our biggest days 114 miles. So could wind up being more like 124. If we get lost again, it could be up to 130. So it really is important to kind of not get lost, basically. <laughs> but then again, I've got no idea where we're going. Grosseto is within our reach now. We were told at our last stop at the service station it was 20k away. I don't know what that is in miles. I think maybe 12 or 13. We've just done two since that service stop. So I reckon 10 or so miles left to go. And then we spot the physio's car. And what a sight to behold. A sign that says we must be close. As they lead us to our accommodation, all the day's frustrations float away. A gravel track leads us to a rather idyllic cluster of villas. We went down, obviously, on the Wednesday, um, two, two days before you. And we went through hell and high water, didn't we? Yeah, a long drive, we slept in the van. Yeah, it was um, wet windy and we thought, oh my god, this isn't going to happen. Mm. You know, coming back in this type of weather. Kenny actually is... slept on a, a concrete slab, didn't he? Yeah, in a service station, which was rather interesting. 